Just roll it over. All right. So um, when I cue you, I'll, I'll be like, and, then, and I'll be like, oh, man. And you'll be like, oh, wow. And then you'll, and then you'll, and then you'll okay, it'll be magical. In five, four, three, recording. two, so they cut it for packaging. In five, four, three, two, one, action. Hi, this is Smooth Hound Shark, and this is a camera bomb. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, this is Kingdom Animalia, Phylum Chordata, Subphylum Adam, Vertebrata, uh, Superclass, Nathos Tomata, Class, I skipped a level somewhere, Chondrichthys. This is a Smoothhound Shark, and uh, this is a female one, and this is a male one. Now, how do I know? I read the bag. Uh, the male one was not prepared, was not preserved properly. This is not, this is, yeah, it's brown. And if you listen, you know, the crack, yeah, so he was not good. Um, so, we're just going to do external anatomy with the male, uh, but that's alright, because that's really all that works anyway. Um, <laughs> it's external anatomy. How do I know it's the male just by looking at it like this? Well, I can see stuff. So this is a female right here, and you can see this is a pelvic fin. And the pelvic fins are just, they're nothing on them, right? And if I look at the boy, he's got pelvic fins too, but, oh man, what is that? <laughs> it's analogous to the penis. They're called claspers. Why does he need two? What's he trying to con compensate for? Well, no, because she can get fertilized on left and right side. And so when he fertilizes her, he, she, he wants, he wants to get du two. double barrel. What's it called? Claspers. Claspers. Um, so she, he will try to fertilize her on both on both sides, and she'll have a, a, a group of pups on left side and right side at the same time. Pretty cool, right? Okay, let's do some external anatomy. Why do they cut the tail like that so it fits in the bag better? Look at this tail. It's got a caudal fin now. You see this? Oh! What's that called? Hetero, hetero it tail. is heterocircle tail. tail. Very nice. And then we have a dorsal fin. Now I'm going to tell you a secret about dorsal fins. I know a lot about shark anatomy. Um, dorsal fins are known to change the color of water to red. Because, because you see a dorsal fin and all of a sudden the water is red. And you're like, what happened here? And then, so here's our pelvic fins again. And there's our pectoral fins again. And then, looking at the dorsal side, if we just kind of tilt your head, you can see a lateral line right here. Lateral line right here, all the way down. Same lateral line we saw on the fishes, and then on the dorsal side, we have this hole. Right there is a hole. That's the spiracle. It's a natural hole. I didn't just make that. That hole leads to the gill chamber here, so he can ventilate his gills. While he's laying, she can ventilate her gills while she's laying down on the sand and doesn't get a mouthful of sand. But normally, when she's swimming up higher, she opens her mouth, and it goes through the gills, and everything's great. But when she's resting, she can use that for a respiratory thing. And then, she's for Colleen to see. You know what's benefit to wearing gloves, right? So, if Colleen looks right here on the nose, I'm going to moisten it a little bit. And wipe her nose. Clean your face. I know. You can see all these little pits right here. See those little pits? Mm-hmm. I'll show other people, too. Yep. See the little pits? There's all like little freckles. And then... Unlike um, ginger freckles, these freckles have powers, and uh, they actually have a, a sense or organ in the freckle, in the pit, and it's called the ampullae of Lorenzini, and they're sensitive to electrical fields. Anytime you move an object through a medium that has ions in it, so like salt water has ions, right, um, you create an electrical current. They can perceive that current. So the shark swimming along, and there's something hiding underneath this tray, like another fish, it can feel it. Just in Jedi. That's a nostril right there. It's got a little flap on it. They don't use their nostrils for breathing. They just use them for smelling. And sharks can smell good, but they don't typically. So we're going to open the abdominal cavity. I wish someone... Oh my gosh! It was magical! The first thing I want to see here is the liver. Here's a piece of liver. You're very good. And there's another piece of liver. Giant liver. Why is it so big? I'm not going to tell you. It's a secret. I'm going to tell you a lecture when we get to it in August. Yeah, what's it feel like? I was going to ask you to do that. What's it feel like? It, it feels good. It feels squishy. <laughs> it's squishy and soft. Do you like this with one of your fingers and describe that? Uh, slippery. It is slippery. They're oily, oily, greasy animals. You did this section. You saw a swim bladder, right? They use the swim bladder to help them float. But if you look in the shark, there's no swim bladder. No swim bladder. They use oils. What do you know about the density of oil compared to the density of water? Uh, yeah, it's lighter. Uh, oil comes to the top of your bowl of soup. So this works the same with sharks. So the sharks uh, become more buoyant, a little bit less dense in the area around them by retaining oils. 
Now the thing that uh, Colleen is messing with right here, this big structure here, is called the stomach. And the stomach is equipped with little wrinkles inside. What is this Sorry, called rugae. You can see some wrinkles here and there. Yeah, we have them too. There's some wrinkles. And uh, the rugae increase surface area. They allow the stomach to stretch so this animal can eat big things. This is a shark. Watching, the stomach comes down here and then makes a U-turn. Right at the end of the U-turn we have the spleen, which is the same thing that we see in humans, but it's in a different spot, of course. Uh, it does red, red blood cell recycling. And then we have this, this part from this loop over to this loop. This is the duodenum. So we can kind of hold it like that. So, very good. I'm telling Kevin, he's fired. If we look uh, at the uh, duodenum, we can see a couple of structures. One of them is stuck in the mesentery right here. That's a, a piece of the pancreas. And then right here next to Colleen's thumb is another piece of the pancreas. So the pancreas has two parts, uh, same organ, just not connected, different pieces of it. One scattered here, uh, stuck on uh, this loop of the duodenum, and the other one. Ew. Okay. Just wipe it on the guy. I did. Okay. Well, he's gross anyway. Um, and then one of them in the mesentery. So this membrane that we're fighting with is called the mesentery. And then starting right about here and then going all the way down here is a structure analogous to the intestine. It's called the ileum. But it looks pretty short, right? It's kind of a short ileum for how could you get all your digestion done in that? Well, they have a special structure inside. So if I open this, you can see those those layers, right? See those little lines going across? Here we go like that. Oh no, come on. See those lines going across? That's a structure inside the ileum called the spiral valve. So instead of the food going straight through and making that sound and being annoying, instead it has to go around and around and around and around and around and around and around. Now on the outside it's probably what, eight inches, maybe a foot? Maybe a foot? No, it's not. It's an eight inch long intestine, but on the inside it might be a foot and a half because that food is forced to go around in a circular pattern. There's no straight line through this. And then back here by the rectum we have a gland called the rectal gland. It does chemical communication, so when this shark takes the pooper pee, it squeezes that into the pooper pee, and uh, other sharks come around and go, oh yeah, Maggie was here. I don't know if her name is Maggie, but that's what they it say. Is it is now. It is now. I just named it. And it's a female, so she should have ovaries, but she's immature. Oh, little Maggie. She's so instead immature. of getting a pregnant girl, you'd rather get a little girl? Yeah. That's not very nice. I know, but it's the world. Okay, so we're looking at this structure right here. That's an ovary. It's flat right here because it's not, it's not developed, right? That's an ovary. No eggs, no developed eggs inside it. Uh, it would be obvious if we saw some. They're about the size of marbles. Uh, pretty cool place for the ovary, right? I mean, it's safe. In evolution, if you lose your ability to reproduce, you might as well be dead. If this loses its ability to reproduce with the reproductive organs here, it probably is dead. Yeah. All right, now we're going to go up into the pericardial cavity, the hardest part of the whole shark. Uh, here's the heart. So the pericardial cavity is the cavity around the heart. Before we get to that, careful, there's a membrane right here. It's an important membrane. There's a membrane right here called the transverse septum. Whoever did this dissection destroyed most of it. Anyway, <laughs> so here's the transverse septum. It's analogous to the diaphragm. It's not muscular. It doesn't breathe with it. It's got no lungs. But it does act as a separator between the abdominal cavity in the pericardial cavity. Here's the heart. Remember I said the big muscly part of the heart is called the ventricle. ventricle. Excellent. And here's the conus arteriosus emerging anteriorly from the ventricle. This cushy part to the left and right of the ventricle is referred to as the atrium. And then if I pick up the ventricle and push it forward, if you're sitting where I am, you can see a really cool view of a triangular membranous structure right here, kind of pointing with the corner of my sit. Yeah, they had it. And that's called the sinus venosus. Sinus venosus brings, so venosus, so the blood comes in to the sinus venosus, then goes to the atrium, then to the ventricle, and then to the conus arteriosus, and then and then to ventral aorta and, long, and uh, gills and all sorts of fun stuff. All right, any questions about the shark anatomy? And, see.